Let me dress it up real nice like. Oh, so pretty. Hey guys, it's Eric from Varus Engineering and today we're going to be doing a really simple engine bay dress up part. Our cam sensor covers that basically go on the front of the FA20. This will work on your Subaru WRX or the FA20 from the BRZ you see behind me. Uh, really cool little parts. Um, all you need is a 4mm Allen wrench for the install and a 10mm socket with a ratchet of some sort. And then that's all you really need for tools. Um, I'll show you real quick what is included in the kit and then we'll get to the install. A side benefit of these besides just dressing up the engine bay is actually protecting the sensor from breaking. Uh, we know um, quite a few people who are working on their car, they can accidentally bang into this part of the sensor and it basically breaks the sensor. And I believe the sensors are, are somewhere in the 100 range. So these units can protect that. Uh, I know I broke them when I was pulling the engine. Granted, that's a little bit more than just working on your engine bay here and there, but uh, we have heard of some people breaking them by accident when working in the engine bay. So that's another benefit of these units besides just dressing up the engine bay. All right, so we will have in the kit four billet aluminum cam sensor covers and then eight socket head cap screws. They are M6 and that is all that's included in the kit because that is all you'll need. All right, so as far as what we're doing with the install, these are the parts that we're be, we will be covering up. Those are the 10 millimeters. There are two per side. Uh, there are side specific cam sensor covers, which I will go over briefly here. But basically we're just gonna remove those 10 millimeters, leave the cam sensor in the front timing chain cover, do not take it out, and then basically install our unit with the new supplied hardware. And that's as simple as it, it is really. Uh, let's get to it. I'm basically just gonna do one though for the, for the video. And then um, we'll show you some images of all four of them installed after that but uh, once you do one the other two which are going to be pain in the butt because of the intake um, they're the exact same so 10 millimeter socket on a ratchet all right so right now you can see that the two 10 millimeters are removed we're going to go grab hopefully the right side but i will show you the wrong side as well cam sensor cover all right, so here are the two cam sensor covers. You will notice that the logo and the writing is clocked differently. Realistically, you can install them on whichever side you want, but the idea behind the design was so that you'll have the logo facing the correct orientation when installed. So this will be the correct side for this. This one goes like that on the other side. So we'll grab the correct side and Basically, it slides right over. And then you can start the bolts with your fingers. And then uh, we recommend using an Allen wrench for that. Uh, tightening torque for uh, an M6 is generally somewhere between six and eight foot pounds. Uh, I would say that's on the max side too. So anywhere between four and six, it should not back out. All right, guys, that concludes the install. I hope you enjoyed it and you like our new product. Well, actually, it's a really old product that we brought back, but I hope you enjoyed it and uh, continue to enjoy our videos. Please like and subscribe. Let us know if we need to do anything different with our videos and we'll continue to improve. Until next time.